Hello and welcome back to my channel. So nice to have you guys back. This video is a tutorial made easy and simple on how to do your eyebrows. To all of my subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And to everybody that is new to my channel, like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also hit the notification bell. The first thing you want to do is prime your eyebrows. I am using the Airspun Setting Powder in the color Translucent. And I'm putting that on both of my eyebrows to prime it. You can use whatever setting powder you want. You don't have to use the one that I'm using. And now I'm going to be um, following the natural shape of my eyebrow. That is a dark brown NYX pencil, eyebrow pencil. If you want your eyebrows, if you have thin eyebrows and you want your eyebrows a little bit thicker, you can also carve them out a little bit thicker. But I don't, so I'm just gonna follow, follow the natural shape of my eyebrows. And then once you've done that, we'll start to fill them in. Now we'll be using three different shades of the pencils that I'm gonna be using on my eyebrows, and I'll let you guys know what colors they are. And I did that in order to achieve more of an ombre look. Now this is the dark brown shade that I'm talking about. I'm starting from the very back of my brow and just filling in what you have already um, shaped. And you'll see, I'll let you know when I'm switching the color, still dark brown. Always start from the back of your brow. That is the black NYX pencil. But it's mixed in with the brown because I didn't want it too black. Now I'm going in with my spoolie from one of my old um, eyebrow pencils. And I'm just going to blend everything that I already put on my eyebrow. If you notice, I only um, filled it in halfway. You don't want to go all the way to the top. That's how you end up with a Sharpie eyebrow. So... You want to fill it in as you go. Then you want to keep blending and fill in as you go. You can take your time with this. I did not speed the video up for learning purposes. Now I am going in with that black mix pencil. It's not coming off super black because it is blended with the brown. You don't have to do that. You can use one shade, especially if you are a beginner. Now that was my um, my regular brown pencil. That was my dark brown for the front. Now I am using the spoolie again to go ahead and blend everything out. Whenever you add more, you want to make sure that you're blending. And it gives you more of a natural look. Now for the back of my brow, I am going to go back in with my black NYX pencil. I do want it a little bit darker in the back of my brow. The front will always be that light brown shade. Alright. Now I'm going back into the front of my brow that is light brown. Sorry guys, I'm looking. Alright, blending everything out. Make sure that you're still blending, you guys. Every time you use um, your pencil, make sure that you're blending everything out. Now this is my LA Girl Pro Conceal. I will be mixing that concealer. And that's creamy beige. I will be mixing that concealer with my NYX concealer. And I'll show you guys that throughout the video. I just used a regular flat um, brush to carve out my eyebrows. Just put a little bit on the brush and then I'm going to show you how I mix it. 
that's my NYX concealer palette that I showed you guys in a couple of my videos. I'm just mixing that in. You can use whatever concealer color you want. Now, I usually start from the very top, but I notice when I do that, that it starts um, being too much product. So I wipe some off and then I work my way to the um, top of my brow to carve it out. And it comes out a lot better and it's easier to blend. Now, if you're wanting an exact um, tone for your skin, if you're not planning on doing full makeup, then you can go ahead and get a concealer the exact shade of your skin, which is what I did because I was not planning on doing any makeup, just my eyebrows for the purposes of this video. Going back in with the concealer. Now, if you are doing full makeup, you can do a shade lighter if you're going to be priming your whole eye for eyeshadow. So now I am just cleaning everything up. Make sure that you have a steady hand. Take your time. You want everything to look clean. I'm sorry if you guys can't see the concealer. But I did show it at the beginning. It's that same light shade that I'm mixing with that creamy beige. By LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Conceal. Now I'm just blending everything out and kind of I'm sweeping down the concealer a little bit down toward my, my eyelid. And then I'm going to be blending that out as you will see further in the video. Just trying to make sure everything is even. I like a really straight, clean line with my eyebrows. I'm not into the messy brow look. Going back in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal and mixing that with my NYX concealer. Now I'm carving out the top of my eyebrow. You can completely take your time with this, guys. No need to rush. And if you're doing your eyebrows while you're watching this, you can pause the video and you can always rewind it. And you can kind of start to see the ombre look that I was telling you guys about. And again, you don't have to do the ombre look, especially for um, beginners that is watching this video. You can um, you can just use one shade. I just decided that that's the look that I wanted to do. Now I'm going back in with my spoolie. Make sure that you're blending everything. And I will be doing another um, tutorial on how to do hair-like strokes on your um, eyebrows and then also how to put the slashes in your eyebrows with solely using makeup. That is dark brown. And I'm just making sure that the top is all blended out the way I want it. Now in order to achieve that non sharpie eyebrow look in the front of your brow you will need to use your spoolie and you don't want to fill in the brow all the way to the front do it halfway like i did now i am taking my fluffy brush and i'm just blending out that concealer that i had on there guys and as you can see it will start to disappear you can use whatever fluff, fluffy brush you want to use um, I don't spend a lot of money on my brushes. I got that brush from my local um, dollar store. I do have some Wet n Wild brushes, some other brand brushes from the dollar store, and they work really well. They last a long time. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money on brushes, in my opinion. Now, if you see me going to the front of my brow, that's just to kind of give it a more of a natural look, just a little bit more. And you definitely don't want a unibrow. That will keep you from getting a unibrow as well. Going back in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. All right, now I am starting on the other eyebrow. Same method as the right side. Carve out the eyebrow. Pretty simple. 
that is dark brown that I'm using the same thing see that that's dark brown you guys have to excuse my hair and my eyelashes I took a shower and I was gonna wash my face so I was taking those off to reapply some new ones and now as you see I did start filling it in halfway just like the other side I did um, use the dark brown and the black already so now that's halfway going back in with the dark brown just to kind of get the front um, the middle just a little bit more with the dark brown so it's not too dark and you just kind of put a little bit on there at a time don't smudge it don't press too hard just do light strokes just like I'm doing now I want to go back in with my spoolie just like the other side and as you can see you blend 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 now I didn't show this but I was cleaning off the excess um, eyeliner that I had on my spoolie in between um, me blending everything that's how you keep the natural look in the front because if you have a lot of product on your brush it's going to come off on your eyebrow and you don't want that so just use a damp towel now I am going back in again just to fill in the gaps just like the other side fill it in as needed and, and um, go back in with your, your spoolie now I am brushing the front of my brows up and I did do that on the other side but I can show it so you just brush it up a little bit and your natural hairs in the front will show now if you don't have natural um, hairs or if your eyebrows are really really thin I'm going to do a separate video on how um, to make it look like you have more hairs on your eyebrows and that video will be coming up so I am going back into the front of my brow and leave in the description box some ideas for some other videos that you guys want to see and if you guys would like me to do the video if you have a thinner eyebrow I'll be more than happy to do that um, just leave it um, in the comment section okay blending everything out with the spoolie guys going back in making sure everything is nice and blended you can never blend too much you can blend too little though And those little slashes you see on my other eyebrow I will be doing a separate tutorial on that so I didn't want to put that in this video all right and going back in the back of my brow just making sure everything um, is even as possible and making sure that there are no patches and as you can see I am going back in with my spoolie whenever I add some more color Now back to the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I am mixing that with my NYX Concealer. And now I'm going to go ahead and carve out my eyebrows. You guys, it is not very easy to do it on camera, which is why I have my mirror. But you guys can still see. And I'm just taking my time carving it out just like the other side. What I do um, to make it easier, I kind of brush off a little bit of the product before I get to the top of my brow, so that way it's not like caked on there. It's so, so much easier to blend it out that way as well. Take your time when you're carving out your eyebrows, guys. If you do make a mistake, you can always go back in with your pencil and fill it back in. This video is very beginner friendly and you guys like I said before you can always pause it rewind anything you need um, I did get this LA girl pro concealer from my local beauty supply store um, if you don't have it at your local beauty supply store you can't find it anywhere they do have it on Amazon and they do have a whole lot of shades to choose from and the LA girl pro concealer was $2.99 now that NYX uh, palette the concealer palette that was I believe 
was $7.99 at Target. I believe Walmart has it too. So I'm just carving out the other eyebrow guys, just like I did on the other opposite side. And I was just going to do one side, but then I felt weird, so I want to do the other side too. Now I am starting to carve out the top of my eyebrow. Sorry about the focus on my camera when you're moving around when you're that close. It's kind of hard to focus, but um, it's focusing. Take your time when you are carving out your eyebrows. You don't have to rush through it. It's a learning process. I did not go to school to do makeup. Everything I learned is self-taught, and I learned a lot of what I know off of watching YouTube videos. Right, make sure that you're blending everything in. And we are gonna go back in with that fluffy brush. Make sure that everything is as even as possible. Compare it to the other brow. Take a look at yourself. Now we're going in with a fluffy brush. Make sure everything is nice and blended. Now I'm blending out the top of my brow. Just looking to make sure everything is blended well. And now I'm going back in with my spoolie. Making sure that the front of my brow does not have that, um, you know, that Sharpie look. Now if you're into the Sharpie look, you know, hey, to each their own. Checking everything out, guys. I don't know why I kept going back in right there. It just seemed like I couldn't get it the way I wanted it, so I kept going back in. 